Hello friends, this video on thermodynamics part 28 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 27. The question, the question says that the enthalpy of combustion of carbon to CO2, that is I have C, CO2 is CO2. This enthalpy is nothing but minus 393.5. Kilojoule per mole. We have to find the heat release when 35.2 gram of carbon is formed. So if you see this is for one mole actually, one mole of carbon CO2, right? So one mole is nothing but 44 gram carbon, right? 12 plus 32, 44 gram. So 44 gram of carbon gives 393.5 kilojoule of energy. I have to find for 35.2 gram of CO2. It's very simple. Just use the math 393.5 by 44 into 35.2 kilojoule. And that comes out to be 314.8 kilojoule. Easy one. Let's take one more example. The enthalpy of formation of carbon CO. CO2, N2O and this are this. We have to find the uh, delta H for this reaction. So as I told the delta H for the reaction will be delta H for product product summation minus delta H for reactant summation. So the products here are N2O and CO2. So for N2O, the delta H was what? Or let me write this. This is nothing but delta H of N2O plus three times delta H of CO2 minus delta H of N2O4 plus 3 times delta H of C. Correct? So if you put these values here, so this becomes, this is uh, N2O that is 81, 81 plus 3 into CO2 that is 393 minus 393 minus N2O4, the last one, that is 9.7, 9.7 plus H uh, CO, the, the first one is CO, I think. CO. So for CO, it is minus 110, so 3 into minus 110. So if you solve this, it comes out to be minus 777.7 kilojoule per Given N2 plus 3H2 gives 2NH3 and the react the delta H for this reaction is minus 92.4. What is the standard enthalpy of formation of NH3 gas? See, in this case, two moles of NH3 is gas for this one, right? So if I want to find delta formation of uh, NS3, I have to take this bar value and divide by 2, that's all. See, in this case, for this reaction, the delta H is 92.4. In this reaction, two moles of NS3 is formed. I have to find the standard enthalpy of formation of NS3. I have to find the standard enthalpy of formation of one mole of NS3. That will be divided by 2 because here 2 mole of NS3 is formed. I want 1 mole of NS3. Here we have to calculate the formation of uh, enthalpy for the formation of CS3OH with this data. So let's see the reaction how to get CS3OH. I have carbon, then I have hydrogen gas, then I have oxygen gas. You combine you get CS3OH in liquid form. This is the uh, equation we have carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, everything is in a uh, gas form, and you get uh, CS3OH. This is the reaction we have for formation of CS3OH. 
and I have to form these reaction using all these. First thing is CH3 which is on this side. So let's flip this. Let's flip this. So this becomes uh, CO2 plus 2H2O gives 3 by 2 O2 plus CH3 OH. And delta H will become 726 kilo joule per mole. Why? Because it's a minus 726, it will become plus 726. The second is uh, we have got this value. Now I want carbon. So let's take this guy. I don't need to multiply anything because I need only one carbon. So C plus O2 gives CO2. Delta H was minus 393 kilos. So I got this carbon also. Now I need two hydrogen. So I can multiply this by two. I get two hydrogen and add. So this becomes two hydrogen plus this becomes one oxygen gives two H2O and delta H will become double of this. Let's add all these. CO2 gets cancelled. Two water molecules get cancelled. Here I have two oxygen. Here I have one point five oxygen. So if you cancel this, I get one by two oxygen here. And that's what my reaction is. See, carbon plus two hydrogen, half oxygen. Carbon two hydrogen, half oxygen. Give this. So if you add all these things, I'll get the value. So if you add all these things, seven twenty six minus three ninety three minus five. 72 you get delta H total is nothing but minus 239 kilojoule per and that is my answer. So for me the formation uh, uh, of enthalpy of CS3OH will be minus 239 kilojoule per Easy only using Hess law we can easily form this. Here we have to find the enthalpy change for this reaction. CCl4 gives carbon and the chlorine. Now so we have to find the bond enthalpy of CCl. So that will be 1 by 4 of whatever enthalpy we get here, right? Because there are 4 CCl4 bonds on. And we have this data given. Delta H uh, vaporization for CCl4 is this. Formation of CCl4 is this. Atomization is this. And for chlorine, it is this. So let's write the reaction here. If you say is vaporization of CCl4, that means you talk about you have CCL4 in liquid, you make it to CCL4 in gas. And then I achieve this. Talk about uh, formation of CCL4, that means you have C, you have two Cl2 molecules, give CCL. This is liquid, this will be gas, this will be Correct. Next is uh, you have uh, for carbon, you want to convert this to gas, convert solid to carbon gas. And that is 7 and 5. And then you have chlorine enthalpy of atomization. So this is nothing but I have chlorine gas, so this becomes two chlorine molecule. Correct. This is all we have, and I have to find this formula. CCl4 gives C plus 4Cl. How can I get this? So I have to get CCl4 this side. That means I'll take I'll just name this reaction. 1, 2, 3 and 4. I will take uh, CCL4 has to be gas, right? So I will take this reaction, the first one and flip it. So I will write CCL4 in gas gives CCL4 in liquid and delta H here is minus 31.5. This is done. I got CCl4 in gas. But I got one CCl4 in liquid here. So to nullify, 
I need Cecil for liquid here. So let me flip this also. So I get CCl4 in liquid gives C solid plus two chlorine molecule. Here in delta H will come out to be plus 135.5 kilojoule. Correct. So I have got now CCl4, this is cancelled. So I have carbon solid here. Remove the carbon solid because I don't want carbon solid, I am looking for carbon gas. So let me have this reaction, carbon solid to carbon gas. So I have carbon solid to carbon gas. Right? And that is nothing but delta H is 715 kilojoule. So I have got carbon gas also, I need now 4 chlorine gas. Right? And I have this uh, two chlorine here, molecule here. So I have to use this equation, I think now, this one to get four chlorine gas. I'll multiply this by two actually, because there are two chlorine molecules here. Right? So I'll say two chlorine molecules gives four chlorine gas. And this delta H will be multiply this by two, that is uh, four, eight kilojoule. So if you add these reactions, if you see this, this gets gone, carbon solid is over and uh, this 2Cl2 is gone. So what I am left with is CCl4 gives carbon in gas form and chlorine atoms, right? That is what I get. So if that is the case, I can add these enthalpies, I get 1304 kilojoule per If you add all these, you get 1304 kilojoule per mole. And that is my enthalpy for this process. So in this, since in this I am getting four, I am breaking four uh, CL, uh, CCL bonds. So if I want to find the mean uh, bond enthalpy of enthalpy of CCL4, what I have CCL, what I have to do is I will divide this thing by four. Right, that's how we do it. This is 325 kilojoule. So the enthalpy of this bond enthalpy of CCL is 325 kilojoule per mole, but the total enthalpy of the reaction is 1304 kilojoule per mole. Let's take one more reaction. For the reaction at 298 Kelvin, 2A plus B gives C. Delta H is 40 kilojoule per mole and delta S is 0.2 kilojoule per mole. And what temperature? The temperature the reaction will become spontaneous. So, for reaction to be spontaneous, delta G has to be less than zero. Delta G is nothing but delta H minus T delta S. Delta H is given, that is 400 kilojoule per mole, minus T is something you define. Delta S is also given 0.2 kilojoule per mole. And let's put this value as zero, delta G as zero, so that we can find the tipping point from where the reaction becomes a change from spontaneous to non spontaneous. So with this we get Ts 400 by 0.2 that is 2000 Kelvin. It's point 0.2 right? If it is point 0.2 it is 2000 Kelvin. Okay, now for this reaction to be spontaneous, G has to be less than zero. Now for G has to be less than zero, if you see, if my temperature is greater than 2000 Kelvin, then only G will be less than zero. Right, because if it is, it is I need temperature to be very big so that this becomes negative. So if temperature is greater than 2000 K, then my reaction is spontaneous. Or directly you can write this for this to be spontaneous make this guy as uh, less than zero so you'll find that uh, t comes out to be greater than 200 thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials 
study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.